You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Probably not the thing you want to say to Ezra Miller. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new to this channel, click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. If you like the button, please feel free to Hulk smash the like button. The Flash movie hits theaters in June. I'm sure spoilers are going to come everywhere. We had some spoilery if videos like a year ago for the movie during screen tests and a lot of what we heard came to fruition we've heard that there is a new ending anyway who cares anymore the movie has premiered somewhat i mean it played for CinemaCon after uh David Zaslav had Warner Discovery and uh, James Gunn praise the crap out of this movie. The Muschietti's won Best uh, Filmmakers of the Year at CinemaCon. A lot of hype for The Flash. Tom Cruise said it was going to save cinema. And yesterday they premiered it for like a whole bunch of movie folk who were in attendance. And uh, all of them seem to freaking love this movie. Is it the best movie ever? Tough to say. Word is that Michael Keaton is terrific in the movie. And some people are saying that Sasha Kaye Supergirl is their favorite superhero. There are some criticisms of it, though, with some of the story choices that they chose. Uh, so that'll be intriguing. I haven't seen too many spoilers, although I guess I haven't really looked for them. I just want to see what people overall reaction seems to be very positive. It takes place 30 years after Batman Returns. And it is being compared to Back to the Future, the classic Back to the Future. And Back to the Future 2! The two Back to the Futures, not the third one. I guess they don't go to the Wild West. One uh, weird development, though, with these reviews, I don't know if it's weird, but the praising of Ezra Miller seems to be uh, coming in big. And The director praised the actor, uh, and now these uh, moviegoer critics are as well. And I, I don't know. I, don't, I, I just I don't know. And then, of course, there are the ones that are saying, it's the best, it's Christopher Nolan, because apparently... I mean, look, I love the Christopher Nolan Batman movies, but, uh, you know, they're, like, they're great. But I, so I, they're saying this is, like, the best superhero movie since 89 Batman and, and the 70s Superman, which are both great films. You know, I think they're put on a pedestal because of how old they are. So we'll see. Look, the one concern I have with these critic rea reviews, reactions, not really concerned, but the one thing you got to take into consideration is they people in attendance are hyped to see this movie Anyway, and obviously if you're going to go see it, you probably will be as well. But they're hyped. They're, they're all buttered up. Take these reviews with that grain of salt, right? You're being told it's the best movie of all time. And you go into a theater filled with people. The trailer came out. People love this trailer. We hear that Zack Snyder gave Michael Shannon his blessing on portraying Zod again in this. But what's intriguing about the blessing is the blessing obviously came with the understanding that Zack Snyder's uh, universe would be uh, redone and rebuilt. So anyway, the the first reviews of The Flash, do they make you excited for the movie or are you still hesitant to see a movie that's been delayed 400,000 times? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.